Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. I'm at a building site because this week I'm looking at house analogies and metaphors that are found in scriptures. So yesterday I, I talked about knocking at the door, but today I thought I'd talk about a litany of scriptures that concern building houses with stone. Hence, I'm at a stone building site. Uh, I, I think the, the origination of these analogies is certainly in the Old Testament, but Jesus brought them to light in Matthew and Mark's account as he referenced this Psalm 118 passage that says that the, the cornerstone that the builders rejected has become, uh, uh, or the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. It's a great passage in the Psalms. It's got a pun because the word for stone sounds like the word for sun. Uh, uh, and so you've got the idea of not only the, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, but the, the sun the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. And the early church recognized this being prophetic of Christ. Now, what I want to do is take a moment at this, this uh, construction site and talk about what a cornerstone is, because the, the Greek idea behind it is just a, a, a key stone, and scholars debate is the cornerstone one of these stones at the base that gives you the stability for the rest of the house or is it something like a keystone that goes in the top of an arch or at the corner of a building and holds everything together and we don't know for certain but the point of it is the same either way there was a stone that was rejected by builders and they thought eh this stone's no good or a son that was rejected by builders and thought no good. And yet, by God's power and provision, that very stone became the key stone for the entire building. Now, Peter takes this passage even further. Peter, the apostle who wrote a book we call 1 Peter, said in 1 Peter chapter 2, starting, uh, I think, around verse 4, that we become the spiritual house as we become living stones once we're used by the builder who put the chief cornerstone in place. And, and, and Peter quotes from Isaiah as well as from the Psalms. And he quotes the passage, Behold, I'm laying in Zion a, a, a stone, a, a cornerstone, a precious stone. And that's what Jesus was and is. He's the cornerstone that gives life to the other stones of the building. And what that leaves is you and I together. And we've got a choice, Peter says. We can either be part of that building, uh, uh, made alive and, and strong and built around that cornerstone, or we can trip and stumble over that cornerstone, as he quotes another passage out of Isaiah that this is a stone that makes men stumble and a rock that makes them fall. And so we've got those options here as we consider this building. Now, where does that leave you and me? Well, today, I'm not alone. If I am with Christ, I am part of a much larger structure. And in that larger structure, I find support, I find significance, I find meaning, I find purpose, and you are too. And that's why you get the video thoughts for the day that you get. It's why you get to, to, to listen to this. It's because you're part of something greater when you're part of Christ. So that should affect the way we live. We shouldn't live our lives thinking that we're the center, that we're the keystone, we should live our lives recognizing that there are stones all around us made important by Christ. And we seek to bless those around us. We live a life of service to others in the same spiritual house where we are. So I want you to be a blessing today to other people. I wanna be a blessing today to other people. And I pray that this video thought for the day blesses you. I'll have another one for you tomorrow, God willing. Have a great day.